Hello everyone. In my earlier video last week, I expressed the delight I was experiencing with the arrival of the first copies of my book. As you can see now, many more have arrived, and I'd like to just um, say a few things about um, some of the, the sorts of questions I've been asked about the book. So, I'd like to just, uh, in this video, talk about the reasons for the book. Um, I want to dispel the idea that this is uh, a book about uh, uh, using an opportunity with regard to the Black Lives Matter movement in the U.S. as an opportunity to rant about uh, the West or white people. Uh, this is simply not the reason for the book. Uh, the reason for the book is uh, actually uh, to bring people together, which I inferred in my first video. But the real uh, opportunity I saw was uh, the awakening in the world because of the wide media coverage of the, the murder of George Floyd and the, the idea that um, there was a great injustice that was being uh, perpetuated uh, around the world against, uh, and particularly in the US, against black people. And because of the empathy that people around the world were feeling, I felt that uh, after I had written a piece that generated a fair amount of attention, I felt that the uh, timing was perfect because this issue of white privilege and how it is essentially woven into the fabric of globalization is so poorly understood. And I felt that the timing was right to get people around the world to unite around understanding what it is rather than divide people. I felt that uh, people, particularly the younger generation around the world, were beginning to understand that something much more insidious persisted in the way our global societies operate. The idea of the book was not to get them, therefore, to be anti-white or pro-black or something like that. It was more for us to understand how the world operates and that if we are to take advantage of all the knowledge, the technologies and the ideas of the progress that we hope that the 21st century will be about, then people need to understand the, the, the importance of dismantling the harm caused by global white privilege. So my intention was to get white people, particularly the younger generation, who seem so open to addressing very inconvenient truths to say, huh, I understand, this is how it works. It's not simply about um, Black Lives Matter, as important as that it is, as that is. It's not about fighting racism at a very sort of superficial level. It is really about understanding the economic drivers of white privilege. That was really the, the, the driver for writing this book, to bring people together, get them to understand. And I felt there was a moment in history now where we could do this. Too often this issue of the sort of uh, the perpetuation of colonial mindsets, etc., is kind of contained in a conversation of historical significance and blaming people, etc., and creating more divides. I felt that this was the time where we could actually bring people together by understanding the harm it causes, mainly because Western societies seem very open to this conversation. And that is something I wanted to leverage. Not everyone, but a lot of them, a lot of people in the West. And it's important that Westerners in particular come to terms with the realities of white privilege and not something about looking at the past, but actually understanding how it manifests itself in almost all spheres of modern life in the globalized world we live in. I felt it was also important for non-white people to have a structured narrative uh, to discuss something that many feel, many of me, people like me feel, but many people felt it was uh, something that was just to be discussed around racial lines, which is essentially not that helpful and can be rather toxic. So it becomes talking about black people against white people, and it's not a very constructive way to understand. So the reason for the book was to also allow non-white people who have, because they've been affected over centuries and generations by white privilege, to not have a simplified or in fact even a hate-filled uh, understanding of what this is all about, to provide a structured narrative, the economics, the politics, the cultural context about what they know and see and feel every day, and then to come to terms with how it works and then work together 
within their institutions, depending on where they work, and people of all races to essentially um, understand how racism, on one hand, but also privileges can actually do great harm. So that was the basis of the book. And I hope people around the world, uh, both whites and non-white people, will see it as a constructive contribution uh, to this very important discussion. A book that needed to be written, and as far as my research shows, has not been written in terms of the context of how white privilege is essentially at the core of many of the globalized uh, ways in which we live and work, particularly in the modern world, and why it does harm, and why it's not in the interest of white people to not understand it and begin to um, dismantle it. Thank you.